Why do men lie? A lot of women want to know that answer to that question, and a lot of guys really never even think about it. And we're not going to talk about today the extreme things like why do people lie when they're political prisoners or why do politicians lie or, you know, I mean, that's getting a little bit to the extreme subjects. We are talking about us regular guys living our lives and throughout our lives, we've all told white lies. And what does that do to our character, to our reputation? How do we justify the lies? It's a pretty interesting sort of conversation that I think as a part of this channel and a part of what we do is strive to talk about issues that really most people just don't address. And so that's why you're here. Thanks for coming. And if you like this content, I would really ask you, it means a lot if you like and subscribe it. And stay around, you'll enjoy it. And we've all done this. If you have a girlfriend, a wife, oh yes, baby, I like your new haircut. I like it short. I love that dress. Your butt looks great in that. Knowing the whole time we're lying. Like we hate the dress, we hate the haircut. Her butt looks funky in those pants. We've all done this. Every single person or every male that I know of has done this. And why? Uh, is there not a way we can communicate in such a way that is not offensive? Is not something like so aggressive that uh, you, you know we can avoid a conflict? Is the relationship that unhealthy that you can't be absolutely truthful? You know, I just happen not to like red, so I would prefer you were wearing something blue. That's just me. It has nothing to do with how you or anybody else perceives that dress. So sometimes your opinion and the questions asked are really totally irrelevant. But I understand why we tell little white lies and I think we all do because we want to avoid hurting the other person. We don't want to be a, the rude husband or boyfriend that just says, oh yeah, you look like crap. You know, like that's the wrong way of going about telling the truth. And we just don't want to get in those conflicts. We want to avoid them as much as possible. And sidestepping the truth, when we do that, when we tell these white lies, we try to do it without hurting the other person. But does it actually harm our relationship with ourselves and with that other person? It's an interesting thing to touch on and which we're going to do shortly. And how many of us, especially you young guys out here today, you do something that's aggravating. You show up late. You say something rude, whatever. You, you didn't, you forgot her birthday, whatever the thing is, and she's upset. But you have something else to do. Uh, I can't talk about that now. Knowing full well you have all the time in the world. You have all the time to talk and you don't do it. It's a lie. Uh, can't we talk about this later? Can't we do this later? Because men, a lot of men, not all men, many men, like to procrastinate. They, they want to push the issue off and deal with it later instead of going headstrong into fixing whatever issue is at hand. Many men, including myself at times, have done this. Oh, we can talk about it later. I don't really want to talk about it now because I got stuff to do. It's a total lie. How about this guy? How many of us have had uh, a hard time in life. We got laid off. We got upset with some kind of family problem. Whatever it is, and we're sitting around and you know we have a three or four days where we're just you know just drinking a little too much. And all of a sudden your girlfriend or wife says, uh, hey, that you're taking this overboard. This is becoming a problem. And then what do you say? How many guys have said this? I've heard it from my own buddies when I told them, hey, y'all are drinking a little too much. Oh, well, we're going to slow down. We're going to stop. You know, this is just uh, it's a celebration week or it's, you know, whatever. You know, I'm really stressed out about my job. So they always continue to make up excuses and they're always lying. Because more often than not, when you start going down those rabbit holes of addictions, uh, you just become a big fat liar. And <laughs> how many times have we done this? You, you're laying in bed, you're sitting on your couch, whatever. Your buddy asks, hey, can y'all come over for lunch? Y'all want to go hang out? Hey, I need, hey, I'm moving something. I need to borrow your, uh, your truck or I need your two arms to help me move this couch. And what do you do? You say, no, I can't help you. I'm busy. But you're just laying in bed or you're sitting up with your foot on your chair. But you're lying. We've all done that. 
I have, <laughs> and I regret that. This guy, I can relate to this guy because I've been trading commodities the entirety of my life. So you always, uh, it's very common for everybody who's a trader to say, oh man, I'm trading great, I'm doing so well, yes sir, I'm fantastic, all is great. Knowing full well you just lost your butt, you're just really struggling. And it's just like in every aspect of life, we have our ups and downs. But it's the same thing, like if his buddy behind him just asks, you know, how you doing? Oh, I'm great. Everything's great. Everything is fantastic. Because who wants to tell the guy that just said, hey, how are you? Uh, well, I'm not doing too good today. I'm miserable. Life sucks. I just lost uh, my brother, my mom, my husband, my wife, whatever. You know, you're not going into all that with all these people or anybody. But it's still a lie. And we all do this. Like, I don't want to tell anybody if I'm not feeling well. How you doing? You know, you got Dante ask me every time I see him. Hey, how you doing? What's up? I wouldn't tell him, hey, I'm really down in the dumps today. I have too much pride, which is a flaw. So if I see my buddy Ricky out here calls me out all the time whenever he sees me, he's like, hey man, where's the smile at? Where's the hug? You need some love. But instead, us guys, we think uh, we can put on this front and say, hey, everything's okay. I'm fine. Leave me alone. But then we're lying. And then what does that do to that relationship and to ourselves? And how many of you young yahoos have ever done that? Oh, I broke up with her. And you know, oh, <laughs> knowing full well, you get caught texting or cheating. And then you go into what, what causes those problems? Like, why does a guy lie and want to go on to that whatever they are, the social medias? Uh, I heard somebody mention one the other day. I forget what they are. But it's the same thing. If you're looking to feel a void in your life. Guys, more often than not, uh, really need the affections of a feminine, uh, strong, but feminine woman. And whenever there are things lacking in the life, in that relationship, or in other aspects of our life, we think we can fill it by lying and cheating and talking and flirting with other people to get what we need and desire while still holding on to something we just can't let go of or we can't strengthen because we continue to lie to ourselves and everybody else. Unless you're a sociopathic or narcissist, which that's a whole nother topic for another time. But the regular old guy, the only reason he does that is because he is lacking in some large aspect of his life. I'm still a liar. You can absolutely trust me. Man, I've been in so many business relationships where I just saw the same guy smiling and he's just all my buddy and we're doing deals and what happens? They'll look you right in the eye, tell you everything is wonderful, you can trust me and what happens? They screw you, they screw you, they screw you. Don't ever tell anybody, <laughs> I think it's highly a uh, bad thing to do is to say to somebody else because I think it sends the wrong vibes, uh, but I'm not here to lecture you on that. I, just trust me. It's, it's a bad thing to say. Show people what you're going to do through your actions and your words, but especially your actions. Now, I've, I've been recently guilty of this. Yeah, I'm still looking good. I'm, I'm still tough enough, still in good shape, but you know, I, I need to get rid of this 10 pounds. It might even be 15. I might be lying right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of ridiculous. But men will look at themselves and go, wow, I look great. You, know, you can be a big fatty and standing in front of the mirror and all you see is a slim and great shaped dude. It's a flaw with men because men have this inherent desire to feed their ego and to always feel like they can handle their own in any situation. And more often than not, most men can't. So it's a delusion, it's a lie, and we lie to ourselves about how we look, how fine and sexy we are. Now what does that do? What does that do to us on the inside? All these little lies that we've told ourselves over time. How about the father? Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you that way. Oh, I didn't mean to not show up for this. I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to forget you at school. You know, whatever the thing is, I'll do better next time. And next time rolls around and he still doesn't do any better. Another lie. So then, how many times have we all been in a uh, stressful situation in life where we're like, oh God, please help me. Uh, if you help me in this situation, I'll never do it again. And like you have a bad thought flying on an airplane and it gets real bumpy. What's the first thing most people do? Oh God, just, just let me get on the ground safe and I'll be such a good person. Come on. It, it, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy because now we're all of a sudden lying to uh, the infinite intelligence, the energy of all things. It seems a little 
a little comical. Because if you can't lie to yourself and trying to communicate with uh, your God, whether you're a Hindu, whether you're a Christian, doesn't matter. If you're lying in a prayer, well, I'm going to go ahead and say you can't be trusted. But being aware and overcoming fear by living truth, can say, living in total truth, sets you free. If we hold ourselves to a really high standard of living, it shows and radiates to everybody around us. They, they want to be around us. They want to be attracted, like they are attracted, because they don't quite understand it. Or they're just really bad people, and they know they can't fix themselves or their own lies, so they want to keep telling themselves and you lies. And those are the people that we have to separate from, in my estimation. I can't fix everybody, and I don't want to fix everybody. I think we can only live by example, and that example radiates and filters into other people and helps change the world for the better. Because your words and actions are the whole foundation of everything. If I'm always telling my buddy out here that asks me occasionally when I'm down in the dumps, are, are, you, are you okay? And if I don't give some explanation to him of why I am not just overly cheerful or overly engaged, he knows I'm lying. He's going to get used to that. He's going to see me as always lying in certain situations. So does that plant seeds in his head that, oh, you know what? Kevin may lie to me about something else. Am I ever going to be trustworthy in my buddy sitting out here that asks me that sometimes? I don't think so. I don't, th I don't think it's possible. There's always going to be those little seeds where he's going to go, eh, you know, he can lie about those little bitty white things. But, you know, being a guy, you go, nah, it's not that big of a deal. You know, he's having a bad day. I kind of understand. But the seeds are still planted, and I still lied. So you have to make yourself trustworthy to yourself. You have to communicate truth. So not only can you stand before the Creator, yourself, your loved ones, you got to, in my estimation of the most wonderful relationships that I have seen and the relationships with people have with themselves, they're extraordinarily honest. And the only way to ever make the world a better place is to allow honesty and open, honest communication prevail. Because in the absence of being truthful, you isolate yourself from everybody. We all know liars. We know frequent liars. People that avoid the truth, put on false fronts, and they're always alone. People want to get rid of them. They want to walk away from them. They don't like them. We, we don't want that. We're social. We need love. We need affection. We need to be touched. I, need, I love it when my buddy sees me on those days when I'm down. And he laughs and says, oh, you just need a hug. Like, I, I love that. And I don't think he would do that if he thought I was going to just lie to him. And if we are unable to speak openly with ourselves, why would the energy of the universe ever want to help us anyway? Like, why? I'm, I'm reaching, to, oh, you're the liar. Oh, you're the one who can't even talk to yourself uh, truthfully. You can't even talk to me truthfully. Eh, eh good luck with all that. And this is, uh, we're, we're wrapping up, so stay with me because this is a really good point is that if everything, as we know, and we've talked about this in many podcasts, that everything is a frequency. My good mood vibes out to y'all. Your good mood vibes back. If somebody that's angry walks in, it affects all of our moods. And if I am telling lies, that sends the wrong vibration. And if I can't, if I don't have the right signals in my head, if my machine is broke, I'm never going to be able to pick up the right vibes or send out the right vibes. It is a really important thing to be able to communicate clearly. And we must remember in all things that we do, our character matters. Our reputations matter. What we do in difficult times matters. Other people see how we treat them when we are stressed out. They see if we're lying, if we're avoiding them, if we're telling them lies. We don't want to live alone. We're not isolated. Now, all y'all came here together today because we're social. We want to be connected. We want to be connected with people we love and trust and they know they're not going to lie to us. And when they start to lie to us, we shut down. We don't communicate. We push them away. Well, let's not push each other away. Let's work on telling the truth. You might want to go easy about telling your wife she has a big butt. I don't think that's a really good idea, but you know, you probably need to tell her, especially if it's unhealthy. So with that, thanks for joining us. We're here every Sunday at 1.30 and I appreciate you coming and Go check out the last video. I thought it was great. All right, thanks. We'll see you next time.